In this unit, we will learn about this thing called torque. Torque is something that can cause an object to rotate. Here, I have a meter stick with some extra weights. It's supported by an axle near the zero centimeter marking. I can exert a force on it to make it rotate. So a force can create a torque. However, force and torque are not the same thing. Let's take a look. I'm holding this meter stick in a horizontal position. If I let go of it, it is going to fall. I mean, it is going to rotate clockwise because the gravity pulls on the meter stick and provides a torque to make it rotate in a clockwise direction. If I want to keep the meter stick in a horizontal position, I have to provide a torque to balance the gravity's torque. I can do that by exerting a force near this 100 centimeter marking. Now the scale reads about 2 newtons. I can also provide a force at the 50 centimeter marking to balance the same torque by gravity. Do you think the scale will read the same 2 newtons, more than 2 newtons, or less than 2 newtons? It reads about 4 newtons. When we exert a force half the distance to the axle, we have to use twice the force to produce the same amount of torque. So the torque produced by a force depends on its distance to the axle. This triangle here is the axle. Torque equals to the force times the r to the axle. To provide the same amount of torque, if the distance is halved, the force must double because 2 times 1 half equals to 1. So this would keep the torque the same value. We use this Greek letter tau for torque. Tau is written like a lowercase t without the top sticking out. Since torque is force times the distance, the unit is newton times meters or meter times newtons. Have we seen this unit before? Yes, remember that work is force times the displacement times the cosine the angle between the two so the unit for work is also newton times meters just like torque and we use uh, joules for it although torque happens to have the same unit as work and energy torque is not the same kind of thing as work and energy so we do not use joules for torque we just use the newton meter or meter newton for the unit for torque. Now let's come back and look at this meter stick again. To balance the clockwise torque produced by gravity, I need about 2 newtons near the 100 centimeter marking. I need about 4 newtons if I exert a force at the 50 centimeter marking. What if I exert my force at the 25 centimeter marking? How much force do I need? Yes, it's about 8 newtons. When the distance becomes 1 fourth of 100 centimeters, the force has to be 4 times the 2 newtons. What about the 10 centimeter marking? How much force do I need? About 20 newtons, right? 10 centimeters is one tenth of 100 centimeters. So the force has to be 10 times the 2 newtons. Now the scale reads about 19 newtons, not really 20 newtons. 
probably because the axle is really at 0.2 centimeter marking instead of zero centimeter marking. To provide the same amount of torque to balance the torque by gravity, in this case, I need two newtons at one meter from the axle to produce two newton meter of torque. Or I can provide the same two newton meter torque by applying four newtons of force at half a meter away. Eight newtons at one fourth of a meter away or 20 newtons at one tenth of a meter from the axle. But there is more involved in a torque produced by a force. It turns out that the distance to the axle is not the only thing that matters. Apparently, the torque produced by a force also depends on the angle of the force. At the same location, if I exert a force straight up, I need 4 newtons. If I tilt the force, I would need more than 4 newtons. Whether I tilt it this way or that way. In fact, the more I tilt the force, the stronger is the force required. Why do you think that's the case? This is because the part of the force that provides torque is the component of the force that is perpendicular to the meter stick. A perpendicular component of 4 newtons is needed over here to keep the meter stick horizontal. That's why the more I tilt the force, the stronger is the force required. So the torque produced by a force is really the perpendicular component of the force times the distance r to the axle. Or we can say torque is the force times the perpendicular distance, r perpendicular. This perpendicular distance is called lever arm. The definition of lever arm is the distance between the line of force and the, the axis. For example, there's a bar with a fulcrum at one end. A force F is exerted on the bar at an angle theta. The torque produced by this particular force is the force's perpendicular component times the R. To find its component that's perpendicular to the bar, we can make a rectangle And this is the component of the force that is perpendicular to the bar. So this perpendicular component is the same as this side, opposite to the angle. So it is the sine component, F sine theta. So the torque produced by this particular force is F sine theta times the R. Of course, we can also find the torque produced by this force using force times the lever arm. Force times the lever arm. The force, of course, is F. Let's find the lever arm. The lever arm is the distance between the line of force, which means that we have to extend this line of force. That's the line of force. And it's the distance between the line of force and the the axis right here, which means we need the distance between a line and a dot. How do we find the distance between a line and a dot? It is the perpendicular distance. It's the shortest distance between the line and the dot. So it is uh, this right here. That's why we write a perpendicular sign right there, because this is the lever arm. It's the perpendicular distance between the dot and the line. Now let's see. If this angle is theta, this angle would also be theta. Now here you have a right triangle. The hypotenuse is r and lever arm is the side that is opposite to the angle. Therefore the lever arm is r times sine theta. because it's the opposite side, so you multiply the hypotenuse by sine. 
and of course you get exactly the same result. So you can find the torque produced by a force by either using perpendicular component of the force times the distance or use the entire force times the lever arm.